morning. Uh, so, I guess I'm a vlogger now. But not because I'm self obsessed, just because, like, it's like a Hail Mary. It's a last ditch effort to try and make some shit happen. I'm also speaking kind of quietly because I'm self conscious because I got neighbors. Maybe they're going to hear me talking to myself. Um, so, this is how it works. I'm in my backyard right now. And. Uh, let's see what happens. I wake up around 9 o'clock, 9.30. I did not sleep very well. I actually woke up at 8 this morning and couldn't go back to sleep and laid in bed for like an hour trying to because I knew it wasn't enough. Very tired. Um, and, uh, yeah, so how's it work? Oh, yeah, I wake up and I'm, like, excited because I know that I have things to do that might, like, move the needle and, and make my life happen. My life is already happening, but <laughs> life is always happening. But might uh, help me get out of debt, revive my career, have sustainable income. But then there's also just like so much self-doubt. Just like, dude, there's no way. It's, you can't do it. It's too late. You fucked up. You should be punished. Um... You should either have all your shit taken away or you need to, like, move back in with your mom. Like, I need to go through something. It occurred to me that it seems like I'm just getting away with not paying my taxes. I want to make it clear. If the IRS is watching, I respect the government and the idea of taxes and everything. I'm not trying to stick it to the man. I'm just a fucking idiot, okay? I'd like to think I'm not an idiot now, but I, I do idiot things. I don't want to identify as an idiot, but I'm... I've been an idiot. I don't know how to handle my money. I mean, look, dude, this is the water I drink. Like, how could anybody feel bad for me in the situation I'm in? Like, you fucking moron. Stop drinking expensive water. Here's the thing. I don't spend money on anything nowadays anymore because I know I fucked up, except for water. I don't eat out. I always cook all of my meals, literally 100% of my meals. I don't eat out. I don't go out. I don't... Uh, buy things. The only things I buy is like maybe a $20 thing here because I need it for work or like a book, a $15 book because I just want to read a book. Um, it's, I just, it occurred to me that maybe it's hard to feel bad for me or like hard to root for me because it seems like I'm living like a pretty like chill life. Um, but, like, I acknowledge that I fucked up and I'm not trying to get away with anything. And if I have to let go of this cute little house I live in now, in my backyard with my gym, then fine. So be it. That's my punishment. I'm willing to accept it. But, like, I'm trying to make things happen because it's so... I like it. I have a peaceful little life here. And I don't want to sell my car. It's a semi-modest car. It's like a 2022 RAV4 hybrid. It's a nice car, but it's not like a $80,000 car. It's not like a BMW or something. I'll keep this car for like forever. I don't want fancy things. I have afforded a lifestyle that I can't afford. It's not like a crazy lifestyle. I don't travel. I don't have like nice clothes. I just, I basically just want to eat healthy quality food at home, cook it, keep my car, keep my house and my backyard and my studio. That's pretty much it. Anyway, I'm tired. I feel awake talking to the camera though. It's interesting. It's like waking me up, it's doing something for me. Maybe the sun's coming out at the same time and it just like feels nice. I don't know. Anyway, so this is what I do in the morning. <sighs> anyway, I, I just, to wrap up that point, I'm not trying to get away with shit. Like I'm trying to fucking be a more effective, responsible person. Um, and I think that maybe my punishment is that I'm gonna have to pay a ton of interest on my taxes to the IRS. I know for sure I'll have to pay that. Well, there are debt relief programs, like tax relief programs. But honestly, that's not even what I want. 
I don't want tax relief. I want to pay my taxes. I want to overcome this situation that I've created for myself. I deserve to have to pay the taxes plus fees. So like, anyway. You get it. You freaking get it. Uh, we're not going to talk about that all the time. So I come out here, I have a journal, I write down my goals for the day. If I have something that I don't have answers to, it's like bothering me, I'll journal about it. I'll just keep writing for a page or two, usually, until like something comes up and then I'm like, oh, it's like a nice way to think through things. Um, and then I always read a book in the morning, so I'm always like reading some kind of fucking educational, helpful, whatever, self-help spiritual, psychology, any, all that kind of shit, uh, in the morning. I'll read, like, a chapter. And then I'll sit out here, and I'll try and, like, look around at stuff in the distance to try and exercise my eyesight. Because I don't, because we're always just like this, so I don't want to lose my sight. I don't even know if this is a real thing that works. I just do it, and I think it does. I believe in it. Because I have looked at signs across the street on, like, a gate, at the apartment complex that I couldn't read one morning and then the next morning I could read one of the lines and like unfortunately the weather uh, broke the consistent pattern of me waking up and exercising my sight because it was raining but there was one day where I was like oh fuck dude I think I can read <laughs> anyway and then I'll go inside and I'll fucking meditate and or it's like prayer meditation kind of thing I like say all the shit I'm grateful for I ask for things for people I care about and then I ask for things for myself and then I say like a kind of like a mantra or a prayer that I've written kind of about like like my life's mission and then I get to work for like an hour and then I work out that's how the day goes Anyway, I gotta overcome the sleepy today. Today's a running day, so I gotta go run three and a half miles. And I'm timing it. Uh, we'll talk after my post run meal again. But here's to getting to know my life. Getting to know you. There's like a song from The King and I that I've never seen, but my grandma would always sing it. Anyway. Shout out, Nana. I am, uh, I got done sitting in the sun, doing my sun morning routine bullshit, and now I'm going to take you with me. I have to bounce, for those of you who don't know technical speak, I'm like recording and stuff. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by a text message. Uh, I, that means, like, export the song from the session, from the recording session on my computer into one file, and then I airdrop it to my phone, and then we take it to my car, and we do the car test. I don't understand why my studio doesn't sound like my car, like it can sound good in here and then bad in my car, and why we trust the car. But it is the ultimate, it's good or it's bad, we all trust the car test. You know, actually, professional mixing engineers probably <coughs> definitely don't need to check it in a car. Their shit's dialed in, so they know it's good before checking it in a car. So anyway, let's see. I'm going to do that. I'm going to export the song. Oh, and there it is. <coughs> I'll let you see the session. This is what I'm looking at. This is my view in the studio. Uh, and then we'll take it to my car and we'll listen to it. And you'll get to hear a little bit of a song before it comes out. And we'll see if it's good. It does this weird thing on my phone when I airdrop the file where, like, I can't. I have to text it to myself. Like, it disappears in the file folder. And then, uh, I don't. It doesn't. It looks like this. Like, it's... <laughs> There's nothing. So I gotta go to my texts. And then, like, are we losing quality? Like, here we go. Screaming 
on the day I die Fuck a very nice life I feel like a lucky one But heaviness can wait so much And I feel every way too much I wonder what my past self has done I like it. It's really good, but the, there's these backing vocal pads that, like, I'm not sure I like the part. They're doing the job, but they're a little... <sighs> you guys probably wouldn't notice them, most of you. That's not a diss. It's just true. If you're not making the song, you probably wouldn't notice. But they could be better. They could be like... <sighs> something like instead of just like a short repeating it doesn't matter anyway i think i might just say fuck it i might just say fuck it the voc the backing vocal pads are good enough let's just move on good enough is the enemy of greatness though i mean i don't know if that's like an actual proverb or whatever but <laughs> it sounds like something i've heard sometimes good enough is also great sometimes you think something's just good enough and it's actually fucking great you know that's the problem but you should always make things to your own standards of greatness so Unless your standards of greatness are too low, then you should use someone else's. I'm done talking. Uh, okay, I'm supposed to go running in 18 minutes, and I will. But since I finished the mix for Lucky One, is the song that I was listening to in the car, I have to make the artwork, the single artwork. So, oh, sorry, this is supposed to be here. Hee hee hee. Uh, since I finished the mix for the song Lucky One, the one we listened to in the car, uh, I, now I have to make the single artwork, the artwork for the song, so I can release it, whatever, so I'm gonna let you guys watch me do that, um, I started with this photo, here, uh, my buddy Danny Silverstein, a.k.a. Slim Dan, uh, took this photo when he played Keys for me at the uh, El Rey show in Los Angeles. Uh, and it's a really bad photo on his phone. Like, his lens was all fucking fogged up from fingerprints, and the lighting's bad, and it's just bad quality. And uh, But thanks, Slim Dan. By the way, everybody, go check out his music. It's literally fucking fantastic. He's so good. Um... So I just, I want the vibe for these next uh, singles to be, I don't know, I just feel like photos of real shit as opposed to like artwork. I don't know, I just want it to be like, feel good and vibey and real. So anyway, I made it black and white and like really, really contrasty. Come on, focus. You got it. Oh, doing manual focus. Uh, so that it didn't look so uh, shitty. And then I just put text over it. And then the hold up. And then here, I'll set this down so you guys can fucking actually watch me work on this. I like, dude, I suck at so many things, but I'm like just barely good enough to um, like be able to do all these jobs myself. Like producing, mixing, writing, whatever. Everything, singing. <laughs> I'm just like kind of decent okay so what I want is I want more film grain on this to make it look more filmy because uh, like despite how bad the photo quality was like it already looks pretty um, analog so we're gonna go to creative market I'm gonna log in and uh, this is where I get some like design assets and stuff and I'm gonna look for some film grain to put on this shit. Film grain. 
Because I already subscribed to it. I already, I mean, I already have hella credits. I gotta cancel them. Well, it's not that much. It's worth fucking keeping the subscription. It's not like if I cancel this, I'm gonna pay off all my fucking debt. Um, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. These are all... Let's see. Do we like these? No, these are all like... That's a different kind of film. I like this, how this looks so far. What we got here? Oh, these are cool. Can we see them? Fucking weirdo. Yeah, that's the kind of grain I want. That's what I'm fucking talking about. So we're gonna add that to cart. And we're just gonna check out. I don't want any of these. Why are these on here? I don't need any of this shit. Nor do I want it. But I do need to spend my credits. How many credits do I have? 13,000 and this is gonna apply 11,000? No. Remove. Remove. Remove, 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 jeez, dude, bye, cool, we'll just buy this, and we'll download it. Design assets, miscellaneous, save. And then we'll go to that stuff. What the hell's all this? And we'll go to it. I just saved it here. Where is it? Oh, no, it's in miscellaneous. I'm sorry. I'm fine. <laughs> let's open the zip. And then let's delete that hoe. And then what we'll do is we'll go back here and we'll insert file. Go to miscellaneous, we'll go to grain textures, and we'll just do the first one and just see what it looks like. I'll make it big enough. And then we'll make it transparent. No. We'll go to lighten or overlay or linear light or soft light. Honestly. It's not really doing much. I'm actually not sure that I'm using it correctly. <laughs> I don't think I am. Let's go to overlay. Well, first of all, why is it black? Why is it darkening things? It should be... Maybe the photo's too dark. Yo, I honestly don't know. I'll figure it out later. Because this video is boring. It also doesn't look like it's doing jack shit. So there's a good chance that this actually will not end up being the fucking single artwork just because I make things like this just to get my brain going and then I'll be like, oh, it's cool. And then I'll be like, nah, actually, no, it's pretty lame. But we could just do some wild shit with it. Like, let's just make this big as fuck for no reason. No, that's terrible. You know, graphic design is hard. Like, maybe this isn't even, maybe we just... Maybe we actually go like this and we just put it here and we put make it like really small. I like small stuff. I 
I really don't like this. What if we did this? I don't like this either, if I'm being honest. And then we made Change the color of the text, the font. That's terrible too. This would have been cool like, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. I don't know, dude, I don't know what I'm doing. We're done here. <clears throat> All right, post-workout, meal, talk, rant, recap, but I need my vitamins. I don't even know, can I call these vitamins? These beef organs that I'm taking. I'm not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> There's probably like fucking 15 views on this video. I didn't need to say that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, so, I guess, I don't know, since this is possibly the first or second episode of this vlog, I don't really know what the format is. I'm just figuring this shit out, dude as it's being filmed and as we're watching it. But, so I went for my run. <clears throat> now I eat, then I do dishes and clean up my shit that I use to cook. This is egg whites and rice, by the way. Or it's one egg and then a bunch of egg whites and then rice, in case anyone's wondering. But, what's on the docket today? Uh, it's my brother's birthday, so I gotta call my brother. Um, I, you didn't even know that. I have to brainstorm a music video concept for the next single, which is probably the song Lucky One that I was working on that I checked the mix for. Um, what do we got coming up? We got these one of 100 limited hold up hoodies that I designed coming out. Um, with like a square swirly design, embroidered. They're nice, they're fucking sick. Uh, I gotta check on that and see if we get the sample yet. I have, uh, let's see, we're uh, designing some limited edition artwork or vinyl for Leaves in the Pool. People have been asking for that for a while. So, have to approve that. Uh, I also have to shoot for my group's community which is basically like a Patreon for musicians though, which is really dope. I'm gonna plug that a lot throughout this vlog, so I'm sorry if it gets annoying, but it's gonna help me pay off my IRS debt or just afford to stay in a house. Uh, <clears throat> I have to like kind of come up with the ad for that, for grouped, and, and then shoot it and edit it, and then post it. Is that a hair, or is that like a herb? It looks like an eyelash, but it also looks like an herb. Let's eat it. It was an herb. Um, like a rice grain, like a spine of the rice, the grain of rice, I don't know. It was not a hair though, sorry, that was gross. Um, what else? Yeah, I gotta shoot more of this vlog shit. I gotta edit a little trailer. And that's it. I mean, that's my life. And then later I might see my friend Grant eat dinner and watch a movie together at his house. Hang out with his dog, Gurley. Um, come home, eat popcorn, watch something, and go to sleep. But I also have a shitload of work to do. I have hella music to finish. I'm working on an album. Um, so it's just nonstop. There's always work. Constant work. And my life... I'm so blessed. It's really easy. I would say it's not easy. It's just, it's a more desirable type of difficult or hard than, because if I didn't work for myself entirely, I know exactly what I have to do and I have a dependable paycheck. But like, I don't know where my money's coming from. 
I have to, I'm responsible for literally every facet of this entire business. I don't have any money, so I can't pay people to do things. So that's why I got the camera. I learned to edit. I learned to design my own artwork. I learned to design merch. Uh, it's just my manager, Jordan, and I, like, doing everything. I write, produce, mix, master all of my own music by myself in my studio. I mean, this is like a one-stop shop. And I don't say that to brag, but I'm just saying that's, like, it's cool, and I love having the freedom and control, but, like, it's also a fuckload of responsibility, which is sometimes why it's, like, difficult to sleep. I mean, that's not the only, it's just, like, who I am as a person as well, my brain and my personality. But it's, like, there's just constant, like, yeah, <laughs> there's shit to be taken care of or else I don't have a future and then I can't marry a wonderful woman and have a baby and like, you know, and then help other people. But I'm probably going to sound like a broken record throughout this whole vlog. Honestly, it's really weird to have like set up a camera and film myself and then just talk. I would say I'm abnormally good at it or not good at it. Sorry. No. Comfortable just talking with no one around into a camera. But, uh, it's still weird. It's still fucking strange. Um, I don't know what this vlog is yet. I just feel like there's interesting shit here. Um, like entertaining, like, my life is fucking weird. Am I gonna have to, like, no matter what, that's the thing. The stakes are real because no matter what happens, I'm gonna keep filming this vlog and posting it. So if I end up like not being able to make money in time and I have to move out of here and move in with my mom, I'm gonna film the whole thing. This is what's going to happen. And uh, so yeah, we'll see. I hope that doesn't have to happen. My mom probably wouldn't mind it for a little bit. <laughs> but whatever has to happen, man. As long as the IRS doesn't take my camera, my laptop, my lighting equipment, my guitar, my bass, my acoustic guitar, my microphones, my recording equipment, my drum set, then we're good. And as long as I have a place to make the music and film and edit, they can take everything else. They can take everything. I'll be okay. I'll figure it out. I would like to keep my workout equipment. I just have those dumbbells. Those Bo Bowflex ones where you can like dial in. It's just two dumbbells, but you can do any weight between 15 and 90 or whatever pounds. I need those. And my running shoes. That's actually not a lot. I just need all that shit and then I can live my life and I can, I'll figure it out. I'm definitely a fucking idiot in some ways, especially with money, but I'm capable in other ways. So that's my saving grace is like, I know if I have the tools, I can do something. I'll fucking figure it out. I will figure it out. I'm committed. Uh, I don't even necessarily need a car or a phone. The phone helps. But my manager has a phone, so he can do the phone stuff for me. Um, look at me. Look at me talking about how I fucking, I have no income and I'm the IR, I owe the IRS and they're going to take my shit. But like, I'm sprinkling Malden salt on my food, which is such a fucking like hoity-toity like look. But Malden salt's like, I don't know, it's not that much. It's like 15 bucks. And it lasts a long time. And it tastes better than regular salt. I care about certain things. I buy pasture-raised eggs. I buy organic rice. I buy organic chicken. I buy organic beef. I drink this fucking spring water because I'm paranoid about the shit that comes out of the fucking faucet. Even if you filter it, I don't trust it. All these studies coming out about all the shit that's in public water. No thanks. So that's what I spend my money on. I'm sorry if I keep talking about money. I just, I know that I'm being opportunistic about the fact that I fucked up and owe the IRS hella money. And so I don't want it to look like I'm just like having a good old time, getting away with it, and then I'm gonna flip it and then like, aha, I'm not being punished. I fucked up. And I'm fixing it. 
and I'm not having fun with, I mean, I'm having fun making things, but like, I'm not buying shit. I don't eat out, okay? I used to order Postmates every day, like twice a day. <laughs> That's where my money went. Now I don't eat out, I don't know what Postmates, Postmates, nothing. All right, that's enough of that. Okay, I just wanna give some evening thoughts. You know what, we'll do a tour of the house. Uh, the studio in the house. And I'll give you some uh, uh, closing evening thoughts to the blog. I don't know why I feel like it's just nice to be able to like see what since you're coming along this journey with me i want to be fully transparent about like this is my house this is how my life is i don't want to be hiding anything it's a mess right now um i gotta hide some shit because <laughs> there's some we're developing some cool merchandise and i don't want to ruin it right now so you gotta hide these guys back here and I also can't show you that over there. Um, anyway, I live here alone. This, is, okay, so here's the, here's the part that I wanna say. <laughs> this, again, I'm getting used to having to talk into a camera and shit. Um, all I'm trying to do is save my career, pay off all the debt, not go to jail, get fucking shredded and, and jacked and all that stuff. I haven't shared any of my workout routine. Maybe I'll do that now, but I, cause I took some footage. I work out every day and I track every calorie and I do I like fucking, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm taking everything real serious. I'm going for it. Um, it's grind time. That's what you guys are doing. You're hanging out with me while I'm doing grind time. I'm not going out. I'm not, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't drink, but like, I'm not going to bars or partying or going to, I'm not going to movies, I'm not going out to eat. I ain't doing shit. I'm not going on vacations, nothing. The only thing I do is go to my friend's house and we watch a rom-com and we eat dinner and I come home. But other than that, dude, I'm just in the fucking cave grinding. I work out in the backyard or I make music in the studio or I go to sleep. That's it. That's the fucking, that's it. So now I'm going to show you the dang house, dude. So you walk in my front door, there's a little wall right here and a window right there. I can't show you. There's something here that I'm not allowed to show you. You'll see eventually. And then you walk in and this is it. This is my living room. It's cute and I got some nice stuff and it's not a shitty life to live. And this is my kitchen and I got some chicken thawing and some ground beef that I'm gonna make. And there's a mirror right here. And there's just some shit everywhere. Please don't judge me. <laughs> I'm, I know you're not. And there's books, and there's a thing I gotta return that I didn't actually buy. I don't know why they sent it to me. And there's just stuff, and there's an iPad for the editing, and then, and then the, here's my whiteboard that I write all my workouts, every, a rep, I, every rep, and every mile, and every pace, whatever. And it's just there's my living room. Here's my here's my bedroom, my tiny little bedroom. There ain't shit in here, dude. There it is. There's my laundry. I'm gonna do that. These are clean things that I wore today. That's it. This is my, the tissues are for my nose, just so you know. And if they weren't for my nose, that's fine too. Sometimes they're not for my nose, if I'm being honest, but for the most part, <laughs> it's for my nose. Look, here's my little bathroom. You know, and then we got the studio. And it's like, we got the stew. There's like four guitars. There's my, there's all my studio recording gear. There's a drum kit back there all mic'd up, ready to do, do drums. I was editing, editing the vlog. That's funny, actually, this is, you just watch this. This is weird, because this is, what I'm filming right now is gonna be at the end of the vlog, but you just saw this right before this scene, <laughs> and I'm editing it. And then I picked up the camera to film. So that's it. This is like, you know, we got the acoustic panels. It's cool. It's a cool little life, but by no means am I fucking balling out, all right? I'm not, like, my life's tight. I love it. I'm very grateful. But 
we're keeping it low key. Anyway, whatever. I just, I don't know what I just said. I blacked out, dude. Honestly, I don't know what I said. But the point is, you saw my house. And you know what's important to me. I just told you. I'm gonna get it fucking jacked. Oops. Oopsies. Here, I'll come down here for you. Gonna get in crazy shape. I'm already working on it. I've been doing that. I've been losing weight because I gained quite a bit of weight. Um, and for the last six weeks, I've been losing weight and I gotta just like lose more. And then, uh, what? Yeah, get jacked, get in shape. Uh, making content, making songs, lots of songs coming. We're not fucking around. I'm not dating. There's no girls coming over here. I'm not going out looking for girls. There's like literally no sex happening. Um, that's it. It's grind time. We're fucking grinding right now. You're in the grind time with me because I haven't done this in my life. I never like isolated myself and just, I should have done this in my 20s. This is what you're supposed to do in your 20s. But I didn't, so now I'm doing it. That's it.